So we wanted to start, get to know Robert Flores. All right. What tra made you want to transition into being on TV and talking about sports? It, you know, even as a kid, as six, seven, eight years old, I always watched the local news. I wanted to, I would beg and plead with my mom to let me stay up and watch the local sports. I mean, I'm old enough to where local sports was still the only source of, of information. And, and I just, ever since I was that age, I, I was just fascinated. I loved watching sports. Sports on television was, was something that I was always attracted to. And then every broadcaster kind of has their voice and you have to find your voice. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular time you can think of where you thought, this is going to be my niche, this is what I'm going to go with all the time, and that's how I'm going to get to ESPN? I, I think it actually came after I was at ESPN because, um, and, and I tell people this uh, all, all the time when, when they ask me, well, you know, how do you get here, what, to, what advice, it is to be yourself. My last question, since I'm trying to get into TV, I need to know how many suits do I need to have? That's a very good question. I like where he's going with this. I have two right now. Two is good. Two is good. Okay. Two is good. You want to start navy blue. Okay. And some sort of gray. Okay. Uh, and and th from there you build off. You know what? If you wore just a navy blue suit and just switched up the shirt and tie. That's what I'm figuring. You're probably going to be good. And the ties, you go with the single Windsor or um, not I, I don't know. I don't know what my, what do you call this? I mean, it looks good. Is this I a, think single? That's a single? Wing yeah, I, I think you so. Just go with that. If you have two suits, get some shirts and some ties, mix and match, you'll be good. Well, there you go. That's all you need to know about Robert Flores. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, now we are going to do our second segment with Robert Flores. And you might know this, we do some research into our guests before they come on. You're right. Social media stalking might be a better word for it. All right. But we have something in common. What Actually, is that? I'm also from Houston, Texas. Really? I didn't yes. know that. My whole family is still down in Texas. Oh, isn't it, isn't Waco, it the best? By Waco, actually. Oh, really? We really did our research. So. I spent six years in Waco. <laughs> yep. And in Austin. Yes. We also worked there, too. Right. So, And you know what happened in Austin, right? No. What happened? Well, I got fired when I was in Austin. Sensitive yeah. I'm sorry. No, I mean, it led to here. It, I mean, I got, I got fired in 2004, and, and I got hired. I was out of work for six months, but then I got hired here. It's an upgrade. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's failing. Like a blessing in disguise. It's there failing forward. It's one of the more unusual stories. Yeah. It's a good one, though. I know. It's going to be at least two chapters in my book that I'm going to write yeah, sooner or later. Coming out? Is this it, an exclusive? No, I, I don't have a book or? right now. But you know what I do? I have like a little, I, I just bought it a couple of weeks ago at the gift shop. This is a true story. When I'm at work, I bring it with me. Mm -hmm. And if something funny happens or something that uh, uh, is unusual or a neat story that I think might work for a book, I'll put Are it in there. Are we going to make it in the book? This will probably not make the cut, oh, okay. but, but I don't know. And to our last topic here. Yeah. Shaq and Scottie Pippen. Right. I've been going back and forth. Just real quick, are you team Shaq or team Pippen? Which one? <sighs> that's, that's a tough one because both are all-time great players. There's, yes. there's no dispute there. But for me, I'm going to go team Shaq. And I think Shaq and Kobe, they're more like 1 and 1A. Mm -hmm. We're opposed to, you know, if you're, it's the superheroes, then, then Bat, Michael Jordan was Batman and, and Scottie Pippen was Robin. But if Kobe and, that's and what they were saying. Right, so, right. What Kobe and Shaq, what is the superhero equivalent of, of those two guys? Is it is it Captain America and and, and Iron Man? Is that I mean two kind of alpha York? personalities? Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of sidekicks, my sidekick now, Megan is about to come on and she's going to kill me for that little segue. But thank you so oh, much. Oh, I love a good awkward segue. There you go. This is great. <laughs> Thank you for that lovely intro, Samantha. I really appreciate it. And thank you for joining us today. Now, I know that you said that you don't know if we're going to make the cut in the book, mm -hmm. but I've brought a bribe yeah. for National Junk Food Day. Oh, Happy this will work. This will work. Okay. And, you know, I had some of, I had a, uh, I told you earlier that I knew that this was a, uh, a vanilla bean cupcake. You know, the heck with it. I'm just going to take a bite. That's good. Um, it was a vanilla bean cupcake because I had one earlier. Our research department had them just laying around, and I got the last one. Wow, did you? I took the second to last one because I was like, leaving work, and I was like, I'm I just got crumbs this. everywhere. 
That's fine. Just brush them off. We, yep. eat, we eat in here all the time. I don't know if that's allowed. I don't know if that's It's probably allowed. not. So we wanted to talk just a little bit about the major storylines coming up. I can't let you out of here without asking about my team, the Philadelphia Eagles. Not really a competition, per se, since yeah. you're assuming if Bradford, Bradford is healthy, he starts. But are we going to see a healthy Sam Bradford? What is he going to look like when he comes back? I don't know. I mean, the Eagles are kind of the most fascinating team to me this, this offseason. Yeah. Chip Kelly, you know, people, he can be a polarizing figure. And if it doesn't work out this season, I mean, if they go seven and nine or something like that yeah he, he and he knows this he, fingers are going to be pointed at him Absolutely. and 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 rightly so so um you know that that's an intriguing division although philadelphia sports fans i have found to be very forgiving very calm very oh. rational uh kind of sort finally uh, we know that you watched the Randy Scott video. He had a secret talent of doing impressions, and you told us that you have your own special secret talent that you were going to share. I do. Today? Are the higher ups going to see this? Um, not as yes. Yes. Okay. okay, then I'll definitely do the fart noises. Okay. That was really good. Yeah. Do you ever throw that out in like meetings? No, I throw it out during highlights and stuff. Oh. Then I'll just go. <laughs> Wow, that is an excellent talent. I'm very impressed. I think that you might have shown up Randy Scott just there. And really, that's always the goal. Dang right I did. <laughs> so thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us today. We really appreciate having you on the show. I hope you enjoyed the cupcake. I did. And thank you very much. Uh -huh.